What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about a new mechanic. Yeah that's right, it's 2018 and we're still finding new stuff in this game. It's basically a new and improved and possibly more efficient way of getting your flip reset. For those of you who don't know, a flip reset is when all four of your wheels come in contact with a surface and you don't jump off the surface, so you have unlimited time to use your flip. Normally when you jump off of a surface, such as the ground, you only have one and a half seconds to use your flip. And this is why flip resets can be so advantageous. Because when you jump off of a surface, the defender only knows you only have one and a half seconds to use your flip. But when you fall off of a surface or have your flip reset, you can use your flip at any given time. So it makes it really hard for the defender. So far we only know about three ways to get a flip reset. Falling off the ceiling. Getting all four of your wheels to touch the ball midair. Or driving off the post of the goal. And some players have gotten creative and gotten all four of their wheels to hit off of another player's car on purpose to get their flip reset. As I said before, the thing that these all have in common are that all four of your wheels drive off a surface and you don't use your jump. And because you didn't use your jump to get off of that surface is why you still have your flip reset. So now that you have some background on what a flip reset is, now I'm going to talk about the new mechanic. So this guy figured out how to get a flip reset from the ground. Yeah, like what the heck? He's literally jumping off the ground without even jumping. The guy who made this, his name is Helvi. Helvedia Gaming, and this is the first clip of him doing it. So when I was first watching this, I was like, oh well, yeah, why are you posting this? You just did a weird jump thing. And then like three seconds later, he flips, and I'm like, what in the world? I had to rewatch it a few times before I could tell what exactly was happening. And Rocket League has been out for three years, and we're just now figuring out how to do this. It's crazy, just the idea of still having your flip reset for unlimited time after coming from the ground, that honestly just blows my mind. So basically what he is doing here is leaning his car forward, and the second his two front wheels hit the ground, he does what he calls an empty jump, where you just click the jump button without moving your left stick in any direction, you just click the jump button. And it's crazy, for so long we've been coming up with these complicated wave dashes and everything like that, but all you had to do was just jump without doing anything else, and your car can do this. So after he does the empty jump, his car naturally tilts upward. And if you're having trouble with this, I should probably mention that you do not want to be holding accelerate. You only want to be holding your power slide button and boost. So after your two wheels hit the ground and then you do the empty jump, that's when you want to be holding your left stick back so your car goes up in the air. So jump, tilt your car forward, let your two front wheels hit the ground, then do an empty jump, and then hold your left stick back so you go in the air, all while holding the power slide button and not holding the accelerate button. He does have his own tutorial on this if you want to learn a little bit more about this mechanic, and you want some more details, or maybe a better description of what's going on. It'll be the first link in the description. His tutorial has already gotten a ton of views already, and I know a lot of you maybe have already seen it or are coming from his video, but now I'm going to talk a little bit about how useful this can actually be. So I think this is the second person to officially get a mechanic named after himself. And I don't know if I already said this, it's just called the Hell Jump. Hell, of course, being short for Helvedia, which is the creator's name. So if you find a new mechanic or something, definitely post it to Reddit. I'd say that's definitely the way to go if you want to like, maybe try to get a mechanic named after yourself too. But don't just name what you want it to be called in the title of the post before people even know like how good it even is. Like let's say your name is Austin and you find out a new flick and you're just like, hey look everyone, the Austin flick, it's a new thing I just found. Trust me, no one will want to call it the Austin flick. What you want to do is just make a general post about it and if it's cool and unique enough, a ton of people will see it and then you can decide on a name together. So that's what I did with the musty flick and that's what he did with the hell jump. I just figured I'd throw that tip out there if you find something new. Sorry, I know I got a little off topic, so how useful can the hell jump be? 
Let's see, it does use a ton of boost to get started, so that is definitely the bad thing about this. So you get your flip reset, but you have to sacrifice half or two thirds or three quarters of your boost to get it. So I don't know if it's worth it. He tried doing the hell jump without unlimited boost, and here's how it went. Okay, that is a little bit better than I thought, but he's using about 50 boosts just to get barely off the ground. Another con about it is how it can be unrealistic and it takes a lot of time to set up in a fast paced environment. But I don't know, maybe in like a 1v1 you could use it. You could use it when the defender is like far back in the net and has low boost. Obviously there's risk involved, but there's risk involved with everything. Think about it. I'd say it's just as risky or maybe a little bit more risky than doing an air dribble. It just takes a little bit longer to start off, but you have your flip. If you do it right. I don't know, if it were to be used in a competitive environment, I'd definitely say in rare situations in 1v1. Where you're just going for something cool and you have a lot of time. Is it really hard to get consistent, but I feel like with enough practice, you can get some good air dribbles or maybe even some flicks with this move. Just give it another month or two and we'll see the clips that go around and see all the different ways it can be used. So I feel like this can possibly be used as a replacement for a flick or a ground to air dribble. But personally, I don't think that it can be used as a replacement for an aerial, especially in a normal competitive environment, just because of how long it takes to start up. But I think this will definitely be a new thing for freestylers to use. Okay, literally the second I just said that in my voice recording program, this is what Jazer tweeted. August 20th, 2.45pm. I think I need to buy a lottery ticket or something. Anyways, obviously, as you just saw, freestylers can use this to get a flip reset without falling from the ceiling or touching all four wheels to the ball. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with this just becoming a thing for freestylers. That's how it was with the ceiling shuffle, and I think that's how the ceiling shuffle will continue to be used. But that really is fine. It's always just really cool when there's a new thing that's discovered in the game. It just makes something feel fresh about the game. And it's just a reminder that you have 100% control of what you do in Rocket League, and how Rocket League has an unlimited skill ceiling. It's really cool to see what players are coming up with, and I'm excited to see what mechanic comes in the future. Alright guys, that is about it for the video. Please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Yeah, let me know if you think the hell jump can be used for something besides flicks or air dribbles. And let me know if I missed anything. If this becomes a thing, I will 100% be making a compilation of these clips, just like I did for the ceiling shuffle. So you can try the hell jump out yourself in free play. Maybe you can hop into some unranked and try to hit some cool clips with it in there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.